Hey everyone, James here again, and on this episode of Music Biz, we're going to discuss the annual industry slowdown. The music industry is known for its relentless pace. Whether you're an independent artist just trying to get your name out there or you're a professional working in the business, it's likely that you spend six to seven days a week working and often put in upwards of 80 or even 100 hours per week trying to refine your craft and get your name out there. And if you work for artists, you spend that time trying to get their name out there. But whatever the case, you are simply always on. And let's be honest, it's really hard to keep this pace going. Between the need to constantly be creating content or engaging with an audience through social media, as well as the need to create things for your own career in music, not to mention networking and just keeping up with your inbox, it is very hard to be an industry professional today. But for many people, there is a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel, and it's coming this month. Every December, around the third week of the month, the industry begins what we like to call the annual slowdown. Starting with all the major corporations, people actually get to take time off at the end of the year. Yes, I know in music that's kind of a strange concept, time off, time spent not working, but it happens. Whether people are celebrating Hanukkah or Christmas or Kwanzaa or any of these other holidays or even none of them, most of the major corporations in music take time off around the holidays. And this period lasts from the third week in December through the first full week in January, if not a little bit longer. Now what you can expect during this time is not that everyone goes dark. That's never the case, especially in entertainment. People are going to be bare bones and staff. They're going to be answering emails. They're going to be making a few calls. But the likelihood of seeing any major movements around this time, whether it be announcements or releases or simply getting a deal if you're an artist trying to get out there or getting a huge job at one of these major labels or major corporations like Live Nation or Ticketmaster, it's a little less likely to happen around this time of year because people simply need a break. And let's face it, that's honestly a good thing. The music industry is so demanding these days, and it seems like it's getting harder and harder to stay afloat with each passing year. This brief period from the third week of December through the first full week of January may be the only proper time off most people get all year long. And while you may have this urge to email people all the time and to constantly be working and to constantly be trying to get ahead, you need to give yourself a break as well. Whether you're an independent artist who's trying to get a deal or trying to get management or simply get recognition, or you're an aspiring professional trying to find a job or trying to network, this time of year should be reserved for reflection and for you know some self-care because you deserve it. And if you absolutely feel the need to work, don't worry, we have some tips for that coming up in our next video. But right now, I want you to look at the end of the year and take it as a chance to look back at what you've done and take a break from everything. Step back, relax, take a deep breath. Maybe try to get seven or eight hours of sleep. See what that does for your body. Take a walk outside, reconnect with old friends, take some time off. Because the industry as a whole has this unspoken agreement that at the end of the year, we're gonna spend a little bit more time taking care of ourselves. And if people start to break that, people get annoyed. It's that simple. And you don't want to be one of those people that's getting in, budging into everyone's holidays and budging into everyone's time off with some requests that could honestly wait until January. So if you have the ability, just take a step back, breathe and get ready for what 2020 holds, because I know it's going to be crazy. It's going to be big and it could be your best year yet. But if you're watching this now and you're thinking that you absolutely need something to help get you through those last few weeks, if you just simply can't take time off, if your brain won't let you relax, don't worry. We're going to keep creating content right here on Music Biz for you, and you can click the subscribe button down below to make sure you don't miss any of it. As I already said, our next video is going to offer you tips on how to survive this slowdown and thrive during that time, but we have a lot more planned, including podcasts and Music Biz news updates, so go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And also, if you're looking to promote a new release, if you have an album coming out in January, February, or March next year, I will go over to holix.com right now and sign up. Holix is the industry standard for music promotion. People People like Slipknot and Niall Horan and thousands and thousands more use Holix to promote their new release. Even Megan Thee Stallion, one of the biggest hip hop artists of 2019, relies on Holix to promote her music to tastemakers and radio alike. So head over to holix.com today, sign up, and you'll get your first month of service absolutely free. And whether you do that or you don't do that, at the very least, as I've said throughout this video, take care of yourself because you deserve it. <laughs>